This is a recast of the 3200-word piece, NumPy, the Foundation for Scientific Computing in Python, from GPT-5. Let's listen in. Let's start with an introduction. NumPy, short for Numerical Python, is a fundamental library for numerical computing in Python. It offers support for large multi-dimensional arrays and matrices, along with a collection of mathematical functions to manage them. Since its introduction, NumPy has become an essential tool in the world of data science, machine learning, scientific research, and engineering. Its importance not only lies in its performance and flexibility, but also in its role as a foundation for other scientific libraries like Pandas, SciPy, and Matplotlib. The importance of NumPy in modern data processing can't be overstated. It allows users to perform complex mathematical operations quickly and efficiently. This is especially important in fields that need to process large amounts of data, like artificial intelligence, where the ability to manipulate and analyze large volumes of data is crucial. NumPy provides an intuitive syntax and array-oriented programming that simplifies the implementation of mathematical algorithms and data manipulation. Now let's look at a brief history of NumPy. The story of NumPy begins in the late 1990s. Originally, there were several efforts towards array programming in Python, including Numeric and Numeray. However, these projects were limited in terms of features and performance. In 2005, Travis Oliphant, a significant contributor to both projects, started the development of numerical Python as a kind of synthesis of these two libraries. NumPy 1.0 was released in 2006 and laid the groundwork for many of the features that today are indispensable for scientific computing in Python. The development of NumPy was a turning point in the Python community. It provided a solid foundation for scientific computing and helped establish Python as one of the leading languages in data science and machine learning. The steady development of NumPy, supported by an active community, ensures that it continues to stay at the forefront of technological development. In this article, we delve into NumPy from its basics to advanced use cases. We start with an introduction to the basic concepts of numerical Python, including arrays, data types, and basic operations. Then we explore advanced features like multidimensional arrays, broadcasting, and integration with other Python libraries. Practical application examples and case studies will illustrate the versatility of NumPy in various fields. Let's get into the basic concepts of NumPy. We're talking about arrays and their significance in NumPy. NumPy's main object is the homogeneous multi-dimensional array. It is a table of elements, usually numbers, all of the same type, indexed by a tuple of non-negative integers. In NumPy dimensions, these arrays are referred to as axes. The power of NumPy lies in these arrays which enable us to perform numerical operations on entire blocks of data with similar syntax as used for individual elements. This results in a massive efficiency boost compared to traditional Python approaches that iterate over lists. Now for the differences between NumPy arrays and Python lists. Python lists are versatile and can contain objects of various data types. In contrast, all elements in a NumPy array must have the same data type, which allows for more efficient data management and computation. Another key difference is performance. Operations with NumPy arrays are typically much faster than with lists, specifically when dealing with large amounts of data. This is due to the internal optimization in NumPy, which performs operations in compiled languages like C. That brings us to the basic operations with NumPy arrays. NumPy offers a host of operations for arrays, such as element-wise operations, where you can perform mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division on an element-wise basis. Aggregation functions like sum, mean, max, and min are integrated to perform basic statistical analyses on arrays. Just like with lists, you can extract specific elements or subarrays from a larger array using indexing and slicing. Also, with methods like reshape, arrays can be reshaped into different forms without changing their data. Let's not forget about data types and their handling in NumPy. NumPy supports a much larger variety of numerical data types than Python, which includes standard types like integer, float, and Boolean advanced types like integer 32, integer 64, float 32, and float 64 in complex data types for complex numbers. This variety of data types allows for more precise control over how data is stored and processed, which is of great importance for scientific calculations. So in summary, arrays, their operations, and the various data types form the core of NumPy. They enable scientists, engineers, and data analysts 
to perform complex numerical calculations efficiently and effectively. That's it for today.